Hello, this is Chris from MyCricketForum.com. Uh, today we're going to do something uh, a little bit more simple. This is how to install ADB onto your Windows computer so that you can use some of those functions. Um, it used to be a lot easier. It used to only be a, a few files you could just download a zip and put it in there. I mean, you can still do it that way, but if you're uh, going for the newer version, uh, just follow along here. Uh, we'll go to Google and we'll search Google ADB install. Try this first one. Actually, let's try Google ADB download. If you couldn't tell, I just go and make these videos. I don't do any special editing or anything. Right here, downloading the Google USB driver. Uh, you're going to need that, but first, in download the SDK starter package. This is the recommended install version. We'll just go that way. Installer R11 Windows.exe. My internet connection really isn't this slow. There we go. In the meantime, you can check out www.mycricketforum.com for flashing tutorials and more information about Cricket Wireless. If you happen to be a subscriber for them. Let's install it to somewhere we can find it. Probably can't find it on my desktop, but we'll just go there. Thirty-one point three megs. Things have changed. Um, it doesn't actually include uh, adb.exe. It used to include that in the tools directory. And now you have to install some other stuff. That's okay. This is the uh, the new version. Like I said, a little bit harder to install, but uh, we'll walk you through it here. I've actually got two screens, and there's a whole lot more going on than this. We'll click Run. Run. Now, I've already got it installed, so... It might actually say, do you want to repair or uninstall or whatever. Let's see, what does it do? What does it do? Welcome to the Android SDK tool setup window. Or wizard. Not bad. Then it gives you the notice that Android SDK relies on the Java SE development kit, or JDK. And on mine it says it'll be it can be found. Other than that, you have to go over here to, I think you can just go to java.com. Uh, we'll actually post this link in the thread. It's www.oracle.com forward slash tech network forward slash java forward slash java se forward slash downloads and then index.html. We're going to actually download the JDK. Click download under JDK. And then find the appropriate device. We were on a uh, Windows 64 bit, so we downloaded this and installed it. And after that, this will let you click next. If not, redo the installation, or you might have to reboot the computer even. Whatever's the easiest way. Then you'll put your file system. Right here is Android SDK. And then next. And we'll just let you see the install. It's going to install it in another directory. Sure, we can have two. We could have four. I guess we can never get enough ADB. And then it'll have the check mark to start SDK manager. Go ahead and do that because you want to get. You're going to want to get ADB. You don't actually have the ADB exe on here that used to be in the the tools directory. So it's going to start this SDK manager. And this is actually what we have installed right now, Android SDK Tools Revision uh, 11. You're going to want to install that. This package is dependency for 
Android SDK Tools Revision 11. So the SD, Android SDK Platform Tools, you don't want those. And it's going to download all the ones necessary in the previous revisions to have. If you're not flashing a device to Cricut or just dealing with Android device in general, you can still get a lot of information out of this, and you're probably going to need to use ADB eventually. Comes in handy a lot of the times, even though it is included in a lot of the uh, programs out there, the programs that root the device and whatnot. A lot of developers have just included that, just the files that are necessary. So anyways, I'll go through these installs, and after that you should be able to use uh, all the ADB commands. Visit www.mycricketforum.com for flashing information and more, and for general support for Cricket Wireless.